Cage Wars 97, September 29th. We are getting really, really close to fight day. How does it feel to be returning uh, to the Cage Wars organization as a pro? Um, it's pretty sick, to be fair. Um, I am really looking forward to it. This upcoming Cage Wars card, you have a tough opponent, Strong Croxon. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, when yeah. watching some of his footage, and I believe he had a pretty long amateur career as well, does anything uh, stick out to you at all? Um, not really. Uh, main thing for me is I know he comes out quick, so basically i just got to be ready for that. And, and yeah, he's a good guy. You know what I mean, he's, he's a tough fighter. He's, he's going to be a good fight. Absolutely, absolutely. So talk a little about your preparation. Obviously, your, your fight camp's coming to an end here. Uh, where have you been training? What does, like, a typical day look like? Uh, well, a typical day for me is basically up very early, work, um, eight hours normally at work, and that's, that's normally pretty tough. And then um, straight to training, really, and normally three sessions a night back to back. So, and that's like Monday to Friday, and then Saturday mornings, and then normally just sort of rest day stroke, running the night on a Sunday, really. So, it's, uh, it's pretty full on. That, that's a hard schedule, man. I'm hoping the hard work pays off for you, man. That's yeah. tough. Yeah, it is tough, man. It, it takes its toll. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, I always ask this question. On fight week for you, uh, obviously it can be pretty hectic. Training camp is brutal and all of that. But yeah. do you like? Do you have any rituals? Do you have any things you like doing during fight week that kind of keep you in that right mental state, you know, keep you relaxed? Yeah, I, a, a lot of people don't train. I mean, a lot of people just focus on, like, water loading and – and like getting the last bit of weight off, which is obviously something I have to do and that I do. Um, but I just, I, I still like to train, but like not as intense. I mean, it's just like running through the motions and, and just ticking over really and just sort of trying to take your mind off it a little bit as such because obviously you're hungry as well because like you're, you're cutting that last bit of weight. So it, it just gives you something to do really and take your mind off everything. With athletes, but especially in, in mixed martial arts, Fighters get like in like pretty much they get in their head so much that by the time they get to the oh. cage they're exhausted. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's insane. It's insane. It's just literally you go to bed thinking about it. You wake up thinking about it, and it, it just goes on and on. And it's just a circle that just keeps going. Right, right. So pretty much after fight, once again, chain camps are hard. Fights are hard. How do you celebrate the W? Um, well, I'm not really a big drinker, so to be fair, I just I normally just chill out. Have a little bit of family time and and food, <laughs> basically, and then and then that's normally for about a week, and then then it's just straight back to it again. Then, gotcha. so in it, win or lose, there's always things to learn. So you go back to the drawing board and and you look at your previous fight and you look what you can improve on. So, one hundred percent, yeah, yeah th that's yeah. absolutely vital. Well, well, once again, going back to your amateur career, you had a lot of fights. Um, I, I believe your your last couple fights didn't go your way, but overall. What are some of the top things you've learned just from being, you know, an amateur fighter, stuff that you took over your, you know, pro ranks? Uh, again, you, you learn your faults and you learn learn what you need to what you need to work on. But obviously, it's a hard one. I mean, you just learn a lot about yourself and 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 the way you want to do things. And also, the biggest thing for me is I always I would always just throw myself into training and just do like as many sessions as I possibly could and then I learned that I need to take that step back and go on my coach's saying and, and do, do what he tells me to do so really that's probably the biggest thing I've learned is stepping back and doing what I'm told rather than what I want to do yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure yeah. man that's definitely very wise of you um so pretty much if you get this win over strong you know a tough opponent that'd make you 2-0 and oh. where yeah. do you think the win should put you um, I want to be looking at, at I want to be chasing a Cage Warriors contract I want to be chasing a fight fight contract so to get this win and then obviously there's a, a huge event coming up in December which is Cage Warriors 100 in Wells and get the win on this one and then fingers crossed I should get matched on that one so that'll be a very good end to the year yeah for sure man I would definitely love to see that so yeah. once again Cage Warriors 97 September 29th what are fans around the world going to be seeing from you, man? They're going to be seeing somewhat different. They're going to be some, seeing something big, and and basically they're just going to be seeing somewhat different from me that they haven't seen before. So, yeah, just keep your eyes open. Fight in the night. Awesome. Well, I cannot wait for that. The floor is yours. Anyone you'd like to thank? 
Um, yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to my coaches, uh, Jacob Hagan, uh, Tom O'Hagan, Paul Bush. Obviously, without without those guys and their knowledge, it just it just wouldn't be possible. Uh, my training partners, uh, Oban Elia, Mitchell Good. Uh, Chris Sterling, obviously Chris and Mitch are fighting on the show as well, and uh, Oban is on the um, Big Warriors uh, Colchester card. Um, and yeah, when it's just my sponsors, really, without them, I just would not be able to do it. Which is uh, Consort Services, uh, Outdoor Buildings Are Us, and Vemmer Road Garage. So that's my area. Oh, and Apex Fitness Systems. So yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. <laughs>